guys thanks for watching my videos and our project today is uh, I'm gonna show you how to make a spotlight effects so let's do this first po tayo dito sa rectangle tool and then use interactive fill tool para mag combine ng dalawang kulay apply interactive fill tool and after that, i-click po ninyo itong elliptical fountain then adjust at itong white dito sa gitna na nasa box palitan natin ng gray okay the text is ellipse tool mag create po tayo ng isang oblong as a spotlight so kulayan natin ng white then right click po tayo dito sa no fill tool and no fill color okay after that po is rectangle tool again then make sure po nasa gitna siya yan pwede nyo pong i-adjust ng konti kulayan po natin ulit ng white then remove the outline Okay. then bitmaps apply bitmaps click mo yung bitmaps then convert to bitmap then solution must be 300 and the color is the color mode is RGB color so okay and then after that punta po tayo sa effects then find the blur and then after blur find the Gaussian blur okay so yung radius nya po is gawin natin 30 okay and after that po apply natin ang transparency tool click and then Then again, again po natin ulit ng rectangle tool. Medyo mas white siya ng konti kaysa dun sa nasa send yung isa. Ito medyo malabay. Then shift tool and after shift tool then control Q. Okay? Para ma-adjust natin yung yung object. turn yan kulayan po natin ng white ulit white, then remove the outline right click lang dito po sa no color fill after that apply bitmaps then convert to bitmap then again resolution is 300 and the color mode is RGB color in ok and after that apply effects then find for blur and then gaussian blur then this time po is make this 60 okay. make it at 
the metal and then apply transparency tool oops hit the hit the same, same procedure po. Just use the arrow, arrow up. Just not precise. After that, up uh, ellipse tool, or let's make. Circle here as a drop shadow ng, ano, ng spotlight. Isang malaking size at saka yung maliit. Copy. Then paste. Oops. Paste. then resize okay. the bigger oblong is kulayan natin ng gray okay. and then remove the outline and after that po is apply interactive Fill to and use the elliptical fountain fill. Then transparency tool. Just okay, na yan. Then yung maliit na ilip, uh, maliit na oblong is make it white, and then remove the outline of course. Then same procedure po. Interactive fill tool. Itong sa taas, lagyan natin ng light gray. Then, click the elliptical fountain fade. And after that, transparency tool. Then, adjust the opacity. You can add text pop. So, of course, po wag niyo pong kalimutan mag-subscribe to my channel for advice po. Thanks for watching.